Great technique. It was fun watching you guys go live. You know, it's funny because you can make up a lot of, of ground on someone that's more technical than you by being mentally tough and staying in good position. And you can learn a lot of different moves and, and go over all sorts of different techniques. But unless you actually go on live goes and are able to hit it in live goes, a lot of times it's useless. And that's where you find your own little bits and pieces that work for you and make your own little adjustments. Seeing guys that are, that are pushing hard and have that mentality of not being stopped, not being held down, that, that's the key. And then we add all the techniques to it, which, which is what coaches have been working on with you guys, right? Build up that repetition, build up the, the different tools that you can use, and then you have to be able to implement it. So we have to get these live goes in. If you're not up to par or you're feeling like you're getting your butt kicked, do li more live goes, right? John, if you feel like you, you want an extra couple of rounds in at your own time, Ask one of your teammates, ask one of your friends, ask Amir if he wants to do some rounds, or ask Duffy, ask Hector. Hector's always down to do extra rounds, you know? And get some, get some matches in, you know? Get that kind of work in. The other thing was, Coach Kemp jumped into practice today. He doesn't do practice very often. He's 62 years old, but I looked around and I don't know if he's tired or not because he's got a poker face. I think he's not tired because he's been doing this for years and he understands how to utilize his body, but I know that if he were tired, I wouldn't be able to tell anyways because he's got this poker face going. And he looked exactly the same before <laughs> practice started, which is, that takes a lot of training to do that also. There's gonna be a time in a fight where you're friggin' tired, you may be rocked, you may have a broken rib, which I've had two different times. You may have a broken hand, which I've had on, a, on occasion. Chad Mendes has had on occasion. Battered legs, or you know, you're getting kicked, whatever it is, and you gotta have that poker face. Practice that in here. I like to think about this, this professor that I had, he was my statistics teacher at UC Davis, and he used to say, he became the guy that like, everyone went to with the problem that couldn't be fixed, and he would take it, and they, you know, give him the mathematical problem or statistical problem, and give it to him and everyone was having trouble with, and he would take it home, and he would call his mentor, and he would stay up all night, and he would figure it out and he'd go through all these, these different scenarios and then finally get it done. Sometimes he wouldn't get any sleep at all. Then he'd go back to the, the person that gave it to him and he'd just hand it over and be like, oh, here you go. And they'd be like, wow, thank you, know, thank you so much. And he became the guy that everybody went to for those problems and he got a reputation of being this genius when he was really just working harder than everybody. And so I, I like guys that, that show when they're working hard. You know, I like to, to see, be out there on a pedestal working hard, but there's also getting that, that work done that nobody sees to get that edge. And that can be a lifestyle change, that can be extra strength and conditioning, extra research you're doing on your, your diet. But those, those little advantages are out there. And sometimes it's time to show the world that you're working hard, scream when you're going, that's great, that's motivating. Energy comes up in the room. And there's times to be getting that extra work and make it look easy. Right? Come in here and beat up everybody and be like, ah, no problem, I'm just that good. Right? So think about that guys. Find those edges. Anything else? Nope. Let's go guys. Good stuff. Good hustle today. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. And then let's go win on three. One, two, three. Win. Alex runs a good practice. So, uh, uh, the team here, the atmosphere, which is great. So. We had a good scrap today. I went with Coach Camp. The guy's an animal. He's walking up the stairs there. Just how I just rounded off between those two and went through some wars today. My body will feel tomorrow for sure. Practice was great today. Good hustle, good push. The guys killed it.